Here's a description of what goes on when you play Marvel. Marvel is an obsession. Marvel is the highest highs and the lowest lows. Marvel is the largest predictor of unemployment, underemployment, and semi-professional poker player among my friends. Marvel is the battleground between the cosmic forces of order and chaos, and if you play Marvel, you might just learn where you stand. You don't quit Marvel, you recover from it. The spirit of Marvel is in you. These are all true facts. Nice that uh, it shows you all the rooms of the castle, whether or not you've been to them. Um, I bought a map. Oh, you bought a map, okay. Yeah. Although it was only like 103 gold, it was very cheap. You just have to wait a minute for it to, uh... Pretty much. It's like, it's not a certain hour, it's just every minute. Yeah. Somebody's proud of this mechanic. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so, you're not actually supposed to go up that yet, are you? Uh, no. I think there is a way you can get up there. It looks like if you get the right time your switch, you were you were glitching yourself a little bit higher. Yeah. I think that is one of the speedrunners' tricks is that they can get up there earlier than intended. Oh, I know what I wanted to pull up. We can we can break down this giant bomb. What fighting game? You should oh be yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna start. I'm, I'm skipping ahead. I'm getting to the uh, the juicy one. Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom Three. This yeah. was written uh, 2016. This was September 2016. Uh. First time Evo attendees often describe Marvel versus Capcom along these lines. I didn't understand what was going on, but it was really fun to watch. Here's a description of what goes on when you play Marvel. Marvel is an obsession. Marvel is the highest highs and the lowest lows. Marvel is the largest predictor of unemployment, underemployment, and semi-professional poker player among my friends. Marvel is the battleground between the cosmic forces of order and chaos, and if you play Marvel, you might just learn where you stand. You don't quit Marvel, you recover from it. The spirit of Marvel is in you. These are all true facts. Um, he's got a personal note here. I chased the spirit of Marvel for about two years, practicing zero lightning loops daily. Well, wow, that's that's right on the nose, isn't it, John? Huh? A little bit. Uh, I played for five. So. And driving out to console sessions and tournaments whenever I could. I practiced with a good friend of mine a few days a week. We'd play for hours wordlessly, except for the occasional exclamations of salt. One day he left for Korea and didn't come back for a year. When he did, my Zero tore him apart. He didn't play much after that. The spirit of Marvel had left him. A few months later, I found myself beating up some kid at a Frosty Faustings, a tournament in Chicago. I was up 2-0 and about to close out the third game and then my hands stopped, seemingly of their own accord. I tried to press buttons and move the stick but everything felt late, as if I suddenly found myself playing Marvel underwater. The kid came back to win that match. I stared at the rematch screen and realized that I had stopped caring whether I won or lost that match. It felt meaningless. I had half-heartedly played through the rest of the set. The spirit of Marvel had left me. At the end of the Marvel Finals at EVO this year, a shirtless man spontaneously appeared on stage as if to challenge the newly crowned EVO champion Christopher NY Chris G Gonzalez to okay, defend okay. his title. Most onlookers were confused. Marvel players were not. We understood that Chris G's win had opened his soul to the spirit of Marvel. As security had hustled him off stage, we smiled, knowing that Marvel was alive and well within our hearts. 
Fighting games are an adventure. Each one takes you to new places. Oh, it's just the last one. Okay. That's the last one. All yeah. right. Uh, so first up, Street Fighter Five. Uh, if you ever pay attention to the story in a Street Fighter game, you'll find that the world feels small. A couple dozen martial artists wandering the world, testing their strength against old friends and new rivals, learning more about themselves in the process. That's basically Street Fighter's experience at its best. SF is the common language of the worldwide fighting game community as it exists presently. I've met people playing Street Fighter in San Francisco and seen them 10 years later in an arcade in Tokyo. Street Fighter games change from series to series, but the games tend to emphasize mid-range engagements where the players get to feel each other out and jockey for positional advantage in the dance we call footsies. Learning to play and love footsies is essential to fighting games in general, but few games go as hard as them as Street Fighter. And I think this is key part to SF status as a genre staple. You learn more about your opponent through footsies than you do through any other part of the fighting match. Street Fighter V has some downsides though. Compared to the rest of the genre, SF5 characters don't have much diversity in playstyle or range, and the game's built-in 8 frames of input delay makes it a little harder to have rich, interesting conversations. Kind of like 6 now, but anyway. If the SF common language is a fighting game, I'm speaking that the common language is a laggy Skype connection. <laughs> nice. Sometimes it feels like SF5 simply isn't worthy of the same love you put into earlier games. It's not quite uncommon uh, for people to start with Street Fighter, then migrate to another game like King of Fighters, Killer Instinct, or Tekken. Each of which take the core of a Street Fighter-ish game and add their own spin. KOF gives you more ways to move your character. Running, rolling, several different jumps. Killer Instinct's combo breaker system since it gives you a chance to rock, paper, scissors your way out of a combo if the attacker is being predictable. And Tekken adds a third dimension to the playfield, play letting you sidestep attacks and rotate around your opponent. I'm interested in this. Next one he has here is Guilty Gear. Jesus Christ, Mike. What's that? Can I open lo locked blue doors? I just needed to buy this. <laughs> oh, well, so anyway. Okay. So now that that, endeavor, that adventure is over, go find some blue doors. Jesus Christ. You'd think I'd played this game before or something. I've long held a pet theory that anyone who, everyone who loves 2D fighting games eventually becomes a Guilty Gear player. Go to gears like landing your dream job and realizing that sometimes it still sucks to wake up and do a thing even if you love it. I always tell people that Guilty Gear is just low Marvel. Uh, yeah, he's got a paragraph talking about it's easier to learn what your mistakes are in Guilty Gear than like Street Fighter. Super Smash Brothers. Let's be honest, if you're interested in playing Smash, you're probably already playing Smash. I've never heard of anyone being on the fence about playing Smash. I think I'm thinking of taking up Street Fighter is the game equivalent of making New Year's resolution to work out more. Smash, you just sit down and play it. That, that is true, like, there's... I mean, you, he's saying you can, er, later in these paragraphs, I'm, I'm just skipping around now. Um, you, can, you can choose to play a lot more hardcore or a lot more simplistic, but nobody is like, I'm going to get good at Smash and announcing that like they would for a Street Fighter or other game. Fundamental difference between Smash and traditional fighting games is Smash emphasizes the player's ability to move quickly and efficiently. 
Other fighting games are more uh, about how players' attacks inter interact with each other. Both, however, do reward predicting your opponent. The coolest thing, perhaps, about Smash is that it is screen position and not health that is your core resource. And then we did ultimate already. I feel like I've seen this room a lot. Yeah, but figured out why it was fucking up, so now we should the exciting new site. And... Uh did you see the um the humble bundle I tweeted out for um Shadow Warrior. Oh yeah, I went, ahead, I went ahead and got that since it was okay. free. Uh, did you play the video to see what that game was? No. Oh. I just added it to my Steam library. Are you, are you familiar free. with that game? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, it is like a first person, but samurai like sword on the screen game. Yeah. But it seems to be ridiculously Japanese over the top. Cool. Um, and like, uh. It's playing. the The video is playing. Uh, you're the best around. Um, you know the the um. Nothing's gonna so ever keep you yeah, down. Yeah, the the um. Friday kid. Yeah. Uh, music. As ever I see. But it's then you realize, like, no, no, it's not. It's not the trailer. I remember it. It's in the game because they cut to the guy in the car, the Japanese man who's doing the slashing, and he's singing it in the car. He's turning up the radio and singing it and driving it down. So um, I might I might check that out and then we might stream that Wednesday. Just to, if it's that dumb and awesome all the time and it's not just a bit to check the game out. Hey, I mean, you didn't pay anything for it, so. No, no I did not. <laughs>